video will explain the purpose and operation of wastewater pumping stations or lift stations. To illustrate how this system works, this video will follow wastewater from its source through the local sanitary sewer system and to a regional wastewater lift station. Wastewater begins in homes and buildings when dirty water is sent to the local sanitary sewer system through a drain or toilet. It travels through the underground pipes, usually under the street, until it connects with the large pipes of the regional collection system. The wastewater flows downhill until it reaches a low point in the system where it can no longer flow by gravity. Lift stations are installed at these low points so that the flow can be pumped or lifted to higher ground so it can again flow downhill through the wastewater collection system. When the flow reaches the lift station, wastewater collects in an underground tank called a wet well. As the wet well fills, sensors measure the water level. Once the water level reaches a certain depth, the pumps inside the lift station turn on and force the wastewater out through a pipeline called a force main. The pumps shown in this lift station are submersible pumps. This is because they are located in the water of the wet well, similar to a sump pump in a home. For larger and more complex lift stations, the pumps are placed in a room separate from the wet well. This allows easier access and maintenance. Lift stations will often have an above ground structure to house the other equipment needed to operate the system. Placing this equipment above ground allows for easy access for maintenance and repair. Because the wet well environment is so dangerous, access hatches are locked and monitored to prevent unauthorized entry. Once the wastewater is pumped out of the lift station, it continues through the force main until it reaches higher ground. From there, it can once again flow by gravity. Ultimately, the wastewater arrives at one of the regional wastewater treatment plants where it is cleaned to strict standards before being released back into the environment.